Betters are at their peak for breeding between 4 and 12 months. Older fish are still able to breed, but you will have more success with younger ones. Finally, you need to consider the size of the fish. They should be roughly the same size, and the female should be slightly smaller than the male. We have to collect the best couples for breeding if we are seriously trying to get good super beta fish babies. It can be good breed, colorful, healthy. The water conditions with normal pH ranking 6.5 to 7. Water temperature reading 25.5 and 26.5 Celsius can give best result. Keeping the pH value within 6.5 to 7 naturally with almond leaves are advisable. Keeping the water acidic can avoid infections through water. Natural acidic ingredients in almond leaves help the water condition better for breeding and rearing for baby beta fish. To breed beta fish, start by putting a male and a female beta fish in separate tanks. Keep your fish like this for a few months so they get used to their new environment. Once your fish are settled in, start feeding them live food, like brine shrimp and bloodworms, so they're healthy for breeding. When they are ready for breeding, male beta fish will start creating bubble and the bubbles created by male gathered at the surface of the water. Once the male beta fish start making the bubble nest, we need to put the female fish with male fish. It is advised to keep the female and male fish with a separation in the tank for 2, 3 hours. Separation can be like they can see each other. If the female fish is ready for breeding, we can see a white spot near to its stomach. Meanwhile the male fish will make more bubbles and kept all bubbles like a nest. Once they are ready for mating, we can avoid the separation. They will start mating and female fish will start laying eggs. The male fish collect the eggs and put in bubble in nests. The mating process, egg laying process may continue to many hours. Since there can be hundreds of eggs, the male have to collect all eggs from the bottom and put in the bubble nest created. For smooth conduct of these activities the male fish selected for breeding should very healthy, energetic and dedicated one. Some female fish will also collect eggs and put in the bubble nest constructed by the male fish. But most of the male fish does not allow the female to collect or even its presence near to eggs. If the male fish is not allowing female fish to collect eggs, it is advised to separate the female fish once the egg laying process is over. Because good percentage for male beta fish attack female fish after mating and laying the eggs. Some percentage of female beta fish eat own eggs, so it is better to separate the female fish after the egg laying process.
The beta female will typically not kill the male. They will normally go peacefully together but they are an aggressive species and the male might also surprise you by attacking the female. The best way here is to introduce a fish with an adjacent tank. After mating the male beta fish will stay under the nest and protect the eggs from any potential predators. If any eggs fall out, he will place them back in. Male beta fish will place the eggs into a bubble nest, which he will create. The baby beta fish will hatch in about 3 days. The newborn beta fries fall down from its bubble nest and the male will collect the fries and keep it back in bubbles. The process will continue to 2-3 days. The water condition, pH, temperature etc. are very important factors of hatching the eggs. Once the baby beta fish become free swimming, we can separate male fish from the breeding tank. Most betas lay between 30 to 40 eggs per spawn but some can lay up to 500. The male will start to catch all the eggs, taking them up to the nest. Some females help with this process once they're recovered, but others tend to eat the eggs so it's advisable to remove the female as soon as she has recovered.